Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we are gonna be making this garland. Um, it's actually really easy to make and you only need a few materials for this. It's super cute and especially great for the fall season. So let's jump right in and get started. So you're gonna need some yarn. You're gonna need tan colored yarn and this is the one that I got from Michaels. And then you're gonna need some orange yarn. You're also going to need a ruler, and this is my trusty, trusty ruler. You're going to need some pipe cleaners. You can use brown pipe cleaners if you want, but I decided to use green because I just wanted to give it a pop of color. You're going to need some hot glue and some scissors. So, first, I'm going to unravel my orange yarn and I do this just because it makes it easier I don't have to battle with the whole spool of yarn and then I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers so I'm gonna grab the end and I'm going to wrap it around 50 times basically however many times you wrap it like the more you wrap it the fuller your pumpkin is gonna be I find that 50 times works for me um, if you want to experiment with different thicknesses then you can go ahead and do that but basically when you're done wrapping it around your fingers you want to cut the end and then you want to go ahead and cut a strand about six or so inches long now I'm gonna put the strand that we just cut in the middle of my four fingers so it's gonna be in the middle of my ring finger and my middle finger and since my fingers are tied together it's a little bit hard to put that through the little crease there so I just use my scissors and beware that these are um, kid scissors so they're not pointy so be careful you don't want to use something that's pointy to pull that through because you don't want to hurt yourself so once you have that pulled through, you want to go ahead and take the whole yarn out of your fingers and then you want to tie those two pieces together. And usually one knot does it for me. So from here, you just want to arrange your strands. So basically you're just shaping it like a pumpkin. There's gonna be one piece at the bottom. This is gonna be, or this is the piece that you started from. And then on top, you're going to have your two pieces and this is the two pieces that you used to tie the whole thing together and so now we're gonna add our pipe cleaners so I'm gonna cut a pipe cleaner that's around one and a half inches long I'm gonna, and I'm pulling that through the piece that we tied together and you want to do that and you want to leave it like that And then you can go ahead and cut those two pieces, but I just like to tuck them in. So basically from here, you want to go ahead and do all the pumpkins that you're going to do. And now I'm going to show you how to put it all together into one nice garland. So at the end of my garlands, or end at the beginnings, I usually leave around 10 inches, but I'll get to that later. So basically what you, what you want to do with your pumpkins is you want to space them as equally apart as um, as you want. This is really completely up to you. And then you want to place a dot of hot glue right in the center of the pipe cleaner. Then you want to put your tan yarn on top. And you can use something else to push it down if you're not comfortable or you're scared of touching the actual hot glue. Be careful because it can burn you. I've gotten burned by hot glue so many times, so I'm not scared of it, but 
just be careful. And then once that is cooled down or once you're comfortable touching it, then you just want to put those two pieces of um, pipe cleaners together and you just want to tie them up. You can bend the tip if you want to. And you want to do this for all your, your pumpkins. And then I'm going to show you how to end it. And this is really how you end it and how you start it. Usually, again, like I said, I leave around 10 inches from the end and from the beginning. And then I take that piece and I go ahead and tie it at the end and then make a loop at the end. And this is helpful if you wanna hang it on a nail or something. I used tape just like I did with my cupcake garland and this is what it looks like when you're all finished. It's absolutely beautiful and I love it so, so much. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and rest of the week and I'll see you guys in the next video.